ain't going nowhere, I can't get the pounding. Keep the metal talk, metal dump like I'm jousting. I'm fresh out of work and the trap house bouncing. The devil playing games on my soul for a thousand. She don't even smoke, roll my blunts while I'm counting. Then I had her down below like she drowning. Truy jeans, double G, I rock designer stuff. Cause I can whip it till it's hard, then I'm grinding dust. We get the drop on them, line them up, grab the mask, load the clip in like final cut. I had enough of niggas, this the final straw. We got a crazy three round battle going down right the fuck now. Battler to my right, introduce yourself. Hello, this is what it would be like if I got into a rap battle in real life. Yeah. 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 Battler to my left, introduce yourself. Crows one, fresh kept. Uh, shout out Bottom Fatigue Beep. My brother Riley, thank you. Flex, everyone's get it. Yep. Yeah. 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 He wants a coin toss. Him. Let's go. I said, <laughs> I said, yo, Lex got me seeing red, like I'm steamed all tight. Nah, Lex got me seeing red, I got the laser beams on sight. Cause once I black out like redacted statements, red wind up missing, no turning back once activated. Fascinating, a world war, full on clash of nations, the last occasion that an archduke was killed, captain, assassinated, but the irony scene ain't a literary tool. And it isn't very cool to kill another duke and start a third world war like a military coup. But I'm a visionary dude. And just like there ain't no I in team, there ain't no C in me. Sort of. Sort of. Just like there ain't no I in team, there ain't no C in me. And to keep it a thousand, I bet a cataract he won't be seeing me. <laughs> so, for, so for real, my G. For real, my G? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not very smart. I'm bound to get caught. <laughs> Skin a cat live, but worth it, man. But it doesn't take a psychic when my palms are already red. Or it's Duke Ferd in hand. Hold out my hand on the weapon. They can't add on possession, like an apostrophe. But without... <laughs> but with, <laughs> can't add on possession like an apostrophe. So what's sun concealed can't be detected like it's lost at sea. But something's off with me. So get crazy at I battle, man. Bet I won't. Mark my words if you want to prove Fred and check my notes. Torturing, ca <laughs> Torturing cats and early sign of sociopaths. At least that's what the doctors wrote in the pad, begging them for me to let me go. Psych, I'll be the last off that flight deck. I'm taking red eyes home. Because <laughs> you don't question crazy people, crazy killer types, axe murderers. You'll get crept on those premises alone like cat burglars. And they say you don't fuck with cats. Well, I must be some kind of inhuman monster. Because what I do just for starters, I'm turning you into a pinata. Cat hang in there, like in the waiting room in the doctors. Slowly composing his death like Ludwig wrote all the Moonlight Sonata. But if I detect a body moving, this cat is getting killed on cam like Luca Magnata. And this... <laughs> and it's beautifully gothic. What I got pointed arches ceiling must have been designed by Roman architects. He'll have a motherfucker praying quick. Plus, he'll have his body set in stone on top of it. But really, my favorite attacks when my old ray gun is strapped. I shoot through him. I could be way in the back. I'm microwaving the cat. Duke, nuke him. And so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so sorry if you're allergic to cat skin, but I got this. <laughs> I got this. I got this personal ratchet with thermal attachments that be turning these bastards into reversible jackets. And at first, he, <coughs> and at first he thought, uh, yeah, sorry. At first I thought I was caught when he saw the laser was on him. He wouldn't stay in one spot. Kept chasing the dot until I eventually shot him. <laughs> and all you hear is the bangs, and he'll be lying in pieces like a sectional sofa. Or leave this arch through catatonic. Man, get him a soda. Let's get it. So my TikToks got me a tryout battle. Yes, sir. And I accepted it showing up. And I thought I did a good job. I felt like I was going up. I said, I'm ready for the pros. My dad Lex said, you know what? <laughs> I think you're right. So he gave me pros. One, so now that I have depression, <laughs> depending on how Prozac, I'm ready to peel. Mm. Let's go. I'm stepping at will, and yes, I got a weapon concealed. He thinks his homie's finna help him, but I'm getting it still. Spotted every one-on-one's dog. Now I'm Cruella DeVille, for real. Let's go. For real. I'm melt your mind. The effect is like Mandela. I tell him, get a grip while I'm having his hand severed. He sucks. You suck. You'll never have fans ever. I'm the hottest thing to come out of Queens since Fran Drescher. Hold on! But 
by, 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 this is battle rap, so D Nanny is what I meant to say. Because, because Pratt, okay, and we're all there. Okay. <laughs> D Nanny is what I meant to say. No DNA, but if I rock your jaw, that's an NDA. Weapon name, get his head in frame, then I let it bang. Bulldog, keep pumping him out. I won't get her spade. Bang, one for one. I won't get her spade. That's crazy. Bang, one for one. I don't know no failure. Bang, two for one like a BOGO sailor. Bang, that was crazy. bang, three for one. My scale's calling me heavier. Bang, four for one like I've done already. Hold on. Yeah. I like that, but there's something else I want to try. So I'm going to reload it, bring it back, and do it all another time. Bang, one to one. That's the odds you'll pass away, dude. And it was a good shot, so I don't think I'll need to take two. Bang, two to one like you teach your bro in grade school. And bang, three to one like the lead the Golden State Blue. Ain't you a shame, dude? Oh, my bad, dude. That sucks. Ain't you a shame, dude? You should know that you're gone. I tuck the weapon. Yeah, I keep the metal lower than bronze. Plus, I got a bigger type. I'm get Follow me on TikTok, right? Anyway. You should know that you're gone. I tuck the weapons, yeah, I keep the metals lower than bronze. Plus, I got the bigger type. I'm getting bold like a font to do some very bad things. I'm hitting pros with the cons. Boom! <laughs> So it's time to kill this man off. I'll pull up, pull it, and pull off. That was the plan, dog. My man starts pulling off the curb before the cans draw. That just means I bounce before the shot like slam ball. Oh, what? This is over. You can leave, get to stepping. It's 101. I thought I'd teach you a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it says. I said, yo, this must be some kind of mismatch. I said, yo, left. I said, yo, Lex, put up your dukes. Return, you sent me this cat. <laughs> I said, so you're treating the Sand Street like your person in a little box. Time to take the little route. Besides, what the fuck's a red cat doing in Big Clifford's house? I've seen you bad. And I seen you insulting that random shit you had in your room. I mean, I give you props, but you'd probably try to battle them too. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and if you throw, and you fill, and you filling up your round with fake lead like a scantron, man, don't fuck around and turn that toaster to a bath bomb. And he must have really strong. <laughs> he, meant, he must strongly oppose that dress set, or it did something incredibly offensive. Because even in his final act, when they find this cat, he was dead against it. So we might get a few, a few views locked from you popping out of TikTok like a cuckoo clock, but a live. <laughs> But a live murder now. But a live murder now sure would create mad hype for that YouTube drop. Because how did you battle an orange? Man, you don't even speak Mandarin. I bet if he. <laughs> Phoebe saying something smells funny about this cat like Chandler's friend. And even when I'm not there, y'all still y'all still feel me like a phantom. <laughs> and even when I'm not there, y'all still feel me like a phantom limb, so it's kind of funny I got it. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I, so it's kind of funny I got heads rolling out to see red like Anne Boleyn. And you and beneath all the uh, uh hold on. <laughs> all the skills you think? You conjuring, guess what? Beneath all the magic, repeated theatrics, you're just a creature of habit, possess none. And you a jerk like Steve Martin. Think you, think you king of New York? You must have been sleepwalking. In your dreams like Steve Hawking. You a jerk like Steve Martin. You're a jerk like Steve Martin. If you think you're king of New York, you must have been sleepwalking in your dreams like Steve Hawkins. Good night. <laughs> cheap, 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 
keep talking all that noise like you speak dolphin. Long nose. Long nose. Long nose. Two cans. Overhead like Steve Austin. Ready to lighten you the fuck up, red cat, you'll leave orange. So since you So since you probably hate Mondays like Brenda Spencer, put you in Sunday's paper, whatever's clever, or at least parts of it wrapped up in uh, at least parts of you wrapped up in it after you got dismembered. Because if you and John Arbuckle want trouble, or Dean and making him famous, I'll even sign my name in the box and put this cat in like Jim Davis. So kids save it. Red will be leaking from Red will be leaking from every level, from the top all the way to the bottom. When I serve a square like your favorite pasta, a tray of lasagna. <laughs> and since and since you lying like an area rug, roll out the dare I say um red carpet after I'm done. And say I don't have the wherewithal, what is this shit? I don't care at all, I'll skin this kid. Then I'll stitch the print and vintage kicks to wherewithal in my hissy fits. Walk a mile <laughs> Walk a mile in your shoes just to kick one off and piss in it. Say it again. Let's go. Walk a mile in your shoes just to kick one off and piss in it. Man, I took I took a dump today already, man. Come on, some different shit. Time. <laughs> Delivery, aggression, performance. You ever think to have more of these, bro? Your complete lack of energy made me think we were in Puerto Rico. Oh my God. <laughs> That's cold. That's cold. It's a great battle. So, so, if you want to try it in this battle, I say go ahead, why not? Because when you rap, it sounds like you're kind of fed up with you rapping, and that's my job. <laughs> I mean, I could perform in my sleep, and I might need it after that round. You think having no power is going to get you booked for blackout? <laughs> Ronald Donald Tracy Grady brought about the Mac out. Brains on his shoe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ronald Donald. Tracy Grady, Bar brought the Mac out, brains on his shoes look like spaghetti, that's a stack house. If he feel a certain way, some sneakerheads will get that and really appreciate that bar. If he feel a certain way, it's time to start exposing this dude. The only reason we have Pros 1 here is because we couldn't find Poetry 2. <laughs> now I'm going to say a bunch of things that I can't confirm, but in my heart of hearts I know that they're true which is a long way of me saying, I'm going to start roasting this dude. You use seven in one body wash, and two of the seven are toothpaste. What the fuck? <laughs> and you only use that product maybe once every two days. Your favorite genres of music are new wave and shoegaze. You recommend restaurants based on mouthfeel, not how the food tastes. <laughs> I, I know it. Uh, it does sound crazy, doesn't it? It's unorthodox to do that practice. Anyway. The heck did I say? I said the mouthfeel one? I hate that. This guy doesn't understand the negative connotations of weird and crazy. He used to be the world's smallest man in the sideshow until he got promoted to bearded lady. You look like a wildly malnourished Peter Rosenberg. And you just... And you sustain your awkward physique by eating loads of dirt. <laughs> See, when you like get a copy of the Ugly Duckling, it grows up to be really ugly. <laughs> it usually is the swan is beautiful. It is because of him when he gets it. <laughs> really ugly. And he's so proud if he ever has a Lucy, Mrs. McGillicuddy. Oh. And this guy mm. will crush a can of monster to dust if you ever call him little buddy. <laughs> You look like you smell like Play-Doh. <laughs> this is my special move, watch this. But you actually smell like Silly Putty. <laughs> Arsenal! <laughs> this guy understands what I'm saying. But you actually smell like Silly Putty. What the heck do I say after that? I can't quite recall, but I'm going to stall until I ultimately fall. I'm kidding. <laughs> right back. Yo. Um, Oh, yeah. If I saw you in my nightmares, I don't know how I'd even react. You look... 
just get so distracted. Yeah. I don't know how I would even react. Oh, no. You look like you commit the kinds of crimes people call unspeakable acts. Facts. Come on. You spent 80% of middle school fiending for crack. <laughs> and I can help you. Put blood in his grill. That's how I bees in the trap. I'm talking oh. clot. Oh. I'm talking oh. clot, dripping. Then the Glock just to top it. Let me really paint the picture. Went from Dolly to Pollock. Uh, Went from oh. clot, oh. dripping. Mm. Glock just to top it. Let me really paint the picture. Turn from Dolly to Pollock. Pros, oh amateurish, kind of oxymoronic. And his favorite black rapper is his sissiest favorite black rapper, and it's Logic. <laughs> 60th favorite rapper over, like, like white, 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 Asian, white, 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 black. Anyway, and that's logic. What the heck? I have a bunch of reasons to dislike this guy, and I'm hoping there's no oversights. Number one, you look like A, or someone who has seen A, Poltergeist. Back. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. <laughs> number two, you're short. Number three, you're white. And number four, you're short and white. <laughs> And number five, the worst of all, we have to hear you more tonight. Facts. Round three. Uh, I said, you want to bet on red? Rush you let a little different. It's still 50-50 chance with three rounds, but that final one explosive one is hitting. Because <coughs> forget the merch. I'm selling shirts with pics to be a head crack. No C-A-P, C-A-T, and on it, a red cat. <coughs> I need that too, but I'm gonna just die. No, no, <laughs> not from you. All right. In COVID, in COVID. <laughs> not it, a red cat. So up against cat dog, up against cat dog, man, this, this bitch ass pussy really is bizarre. It'll get awkward, in fact, when I start dog walking this cat like some weirdo in the park. And you can't, you can't allow Duke under fire. Well, maybe due to the fact you'd use a match to get the right spark to cook, to react in a room full of gas. Cat, nah, cat allowed under fire because he's soon to be ash. Cause see, I could build you this fire and you'll be warm for the rest of the night. But if I set you on fire, you'll be warm for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, o so ozone park, that's where you frequent? Spraying cans in the air until the whole ozone depleted. Remember I said soon to be ash? Well, I'm dragging kid in circles like a carnival rod. If Red come out of pocket with a round like Isamu Akai, he'll be missing the ozone park so bad he started to cry. But it's all good though, I heard all those good cats go to that big ozone park in the sky. <laughs> But before he's leaving to go home, best believe I'm, I'm releasing a rocket heat seeking this bozo. He'll 86 this challenger before he's reaching the ozone. Ooh, and you couldn't. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Wow, that was crazy. And you, I and you that couldn't. Crazy. I love this challenger. You couldn't get nice going to anger management classes. Me nice as. <laughs> yeah. Me nice as fuck, like Alfred, minding my manners. And I would throw this TikToker out the window. You know, time flies, facts, Duke. But I need my three square meals a day, nine lives, cat food. And I may, and I may act rude on some occasions, but that's really because it's more like Alfred. And Alf tends to eat cats on the planet that he came from. And yeah, I know I said his family is strange him, but it's not what I meant when I said uh, alienate him. So nine lives, I guess that's nine murders as well. And I got my own version of Dante's Inferno to tell. After each death, I'll take you on a further personal delve through the nine circles of hell like I was Virgil himself. <laughs> and, and for the lies, it's tumultuous. The front never ends. Dug a ditch in the backyard, I'll never front again. And it's ironic, Red Rose to the occasion only started to bloom after getting buried. Until that yard is exhumed, your garden a tomb, like Arlington Cemetery. And we can go back and forth, but if those hairballs, but if those hairballs lead to coffin fits, I'm leaving catacomb as a part and gift, and I'm leave, <laughs> they'll find your body in ruins. Man, I thought you crossed for archaeologists. Left in jars in our sarcophagus, then I'll take off quick, 
Last scene on Sand Street, have you seen this Chase Croft kid? Flyers turned to miss and posted in seconds like Mel Brooks wrote and directed the note for forensics. Left that cat a comb in the desert on some space bullshit. <coughs> so squeal to the piggies, yeah, you probably do. The only pigs I deal with are the ones I feed the bodies to. So call the cop. Come on, let's go. So call the, so call the cops, it'll be a scary sight. Leave you drenched in pig's blood like Harry White. Or, <coughs> or shot in elevator, flood torrents of blood pouring. It's gonna take an armada. After I turn this venue to a bay of pigs like Operation Zapata. <coughs> and the place left a mess now. But instead of bleaching some fresh towels, I'm going to treat the crime scene with Visine. Get the red out. Time. <laughs> yeah! yeah that's better. Let's finish off this great battle, man. Let's go. Number six, you interrupted me, and that was kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> and number seven, I just don't like this dude. <laughs> so you like those sneaky punches, and every scheme you write is mean. But can you really write with me? That's not a feat that I can see. See, when he and I compete, in times where he and I compete, there's not a reason I could dream that he would even like to be inside a piece of life with me. You're going to need variety to try and even fly with me. Your highest peak is my latrine. I mean, I see him miles deep. A piece of my esteem. A piece of my esteem is from the Greek, Calliope. The other piece of my esteem is just from being like I be. Let's go. <laughs> My potential reaches as far as people's eyes can see, and yours is teeny tiny G, and mine is C to shining C. You're like a really mighty tree Let's go. that's completely out of scene. So you're cool and all, but ultimately meekly die in peace. I'm the lumberjack. The reason for your fleeting life is me. I've got a lot of toys in store to press the heathen trying me. I gotta treat them violently. I got an eagle right with me, so you know I'm next to peel, like I'm Keegan Michael Key. Oh. JFK LaGuardia, we keep it flying Queens. Your best six. Oh, 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 Let's go. JFK LaGuardia, we keep it flying Queens. And your best success of yet is just a decent try to me. There's a reason I succeed. My kind's unique, a dying breed. I am an artist with a heart who has a lethal type beneath. All my words come with an action. I'ma need an ING. The fear will leak inside his dreams. The sky won't even try to sleep. Peace of mind to him would be some peace of mind for me. So welcome to the Coliseum, people. Please come find your seats. <laughs> this is the one where the cat wins. Caesar's lion feasts. And they all want to watch you die. You'll never see a sign of grief. I got paid for this and gave it back. A meager finder's fee to kill a feeble-minded geek with rhymes and beat this guy in three. 